Hello, friends of On The Go, Puerto Rico. This is your host, Marisa Rivera, welcoming you to a new show. There's so much going on. We're going to start off in Rio Grande, Luquillo. Then we're going to Umacao, and we're going to end up with beautiful jewelry, both by Little Jewelers at the Mall of San Juan and Toast, Puerto Rico, in Liberty Square, San Patricio. Back here at Liberty Square in San Patricio Plaza for the latest launch of Toast Puerto Rico. And we're here with Jari Torres, director of Toast Puerto Rico, and she always has something new happening. It's amazing that you still come up with new things, and now it is for shoes. This is a surprise for me. A year ago, Toast launched a Steps, Toast Steps, in Spain. And it was a great success in the innovation program. And they decided just to do it in Spain, but I pushed it really hard. As you do. <laughs> exactly. So I asked to be done for Puerto Rico with some additions. So that's what we're doing today, doing uh, jewelry for the sneakers. And of course, Puerto Rico is one of the biggest markets for toes. There's already 12 stores here, 11, 12? 12. 12, yeah, you don't know because how many How many are we opening this year? I'm opening another one, so there will be 13. There you go, lucky number 13. Uh, so tell us, uh, what what can you do with all these pieces? Well, you have to customize your shoe. Yeah, you have to do your own thing depending on your color. But this passes that says toes is the first step of your imagination. Then you start adding your pendants, chains, You can do the bulber, which is really cute, and we have it in different colors. So you do your own color. I have my own, very cute. You do whatever fits you and tell your name. <laughs> of course, and I saw all the little details on your outfit and your, your game, and you have a piece from here in your earrings. Yes. So it can be inter-exchange, right? Exactly, you can wear it in the sneakers, you can also wear it in your earrings. I have whole here in my earrings and I have it here in the sneakers, so you do your own mix. What is the material used in the pieces? Here is vermeil, it's uh, silver with uh, five micros of 18 karat gold. Great, uh, will it be available in all 12 stores in Puerto Rico? Yes, it is available. It's also in e-commerce, so you can buy it online if you want to. And you have to try on your sneakers today because we have a machine that you try on your sneakers. It's very to do the virtual try on, but I have to ask first because last time you made that Junke collection, it was for a limited time only. This is here to stay. This is to stay, yes. Good, because you know, after the pandemic, everybody just wants to wear tennis shoes. So you've got the finger on the pulse. Congratulations. We'll see you back for the lucky number 13 store. Sure, thank you. We're here in Los Kioscos de Luquillo, and whether you're a tourist or a local, you'd know that a necessary stop when you're going to and fro Fajardo is right here in Los Kioscos de Luquillo to grab a bite. But the star restaurant in the strip is, of course, La Parrilla Restaurant. Let's check it out. at La Parrilla with Bill Trotman, who's a very busy man. This place is packed. Thank you for taking the time to speak well, with thank us. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so tell me, how many years has this place been open? So this has been open since 1993. It has uh, like 30 years right now. So how many does exactly, it have? Exactly, it started with one little kiosk. Now we have like three or four kiosk. We open a second floor also. Three or four kiosk, second floor, and you sit how many people? Like 400. That must be a couple of sittings because you're open lunch and dinner. What else? What times? Until uh, start, we start at 11 a.m. to 10.30, 10.30 p.m. That's a lot of lobsters. You've got three tanks full of live lobsters. Full of lo live lobsters. And you're selling lobsters all day? Live lobsters, um, a lot of fish. One important thing for me is for the lobster to be out of the shell because I don't want to be fighting with a lobster in my table. Does it come out of the shell if you can do that? So we can make it also out of the shell. We take it out. We saute it in garlic and butter, a little bit of onion, peppers, put it back in the shell. We're going to check out some pineapple relleno with? Uh, we have the pineapple rice topped with some shrimps. Comes out with a side of fried Puerto Rican dumplings, coconut flavor. Ooh, nice. Yeah. 
And then, of course, whenever anybody comes here, they have to have a drink at the Tiki Bar. I think I'm going to try some white sangria because it's hot. The white sangria, we also have the Mai Tai. Very nice, passionate, cool, breezy. Perfect for this place. And of course, you've got the sampler because if you come to the kioscos of Luquillo, you have to have, what does it have? Yeah, we have the sample body. It has some fried cheese, corn sticks, juca bites, codfish fritters, ham croquettes. That's what you have to have when you come to the kioscos de Luquillo. Can people make reservations in the head big groups or do you just uh, encourage walk-ins? I prefer walk-ins, but we make some reservations just basically in, in cases, not all the times. In special cases, and you of course have a second floor and you can fill that up with parties? Yes, ma'am. It's a beautiful place. I'm glad you're here because uh, it's always good to have a, a main man who can explain to us that menu in such a way. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. tu fuerza, flexibilidad, equilibrio, postura y manejo del estrés, en Pilateros tenemos un grandioso equipo que te ayudará a alcanzar tu mejor versión. Tenemos clases para todas las edades, horarios flexibles y dos localidades completamente equipadas ubicadas en San Juan y Guaynabo. Programa tu primera clase hoy en Pilateros.com. Somos Pilateros. Dive into a sea of style and flavor at the all-new Ocean Lab Brewery Store exclusively at Vivo Beach Club. More than 30 camp designs, tees, rash guards, rain jackets, hoodies, weekend bags, backpacks, and even merchandise for your furry friends. Quench your thirst with over 30 labels of Ocean Lab beer featuring experimental flavors you won't find anywhere else. Gift giving made easy. Choose from our ready-made selections or create a custom box of Ocean Lab goodness for that special someone. Everyone's invited. Visit the Ocean Lab Brewery Store seven days a week during Vivo Beach Club's opening hours. Can't make it? Scan the QR code on your screen and shop online. Ocean Lab, where style meets the sea. of On The Go Puerto Rico. This is your host, Marisa Rivera, back here at Little Jewelers at the Mall of San Juan. And spring is in the air, and so is the beautiful jewelry called Shakers by Moritz Glick. We're here with Moritz Glick, Brazilian born and bred, but now living in New York and making beautiful jewelry. It is called the Shakers. And you began with the Shakers and you have stuck to the Shakers. Is that right? I'm totally stuck to it. Yes. <laughs> it's my DNA. That's what I do for so many years. It's about 15, 16 years doing the Shakers. And uh, people recognize my jeweler by the Shakers. So, and I love what I do. So I continue doing it. What makes it unique? I mean, people can see it on the camera, on the screen, but what makes it unique? I think because all the, the pieces are handmade. You know, we don't do mass production. Everything, we have limited editions for a lot of pieces. And um, it's the shakers. I think that's what make the uniqueness of the piece. Uh, the shakers are very different from everything else. You know, I always try to come up with something that's not the same we have outside. And the shakers, I think that will be it, you know, you know. And now I'm doing this new line that we call the Hoda. And uh, I literally drilled through the shakers. So you see it has a hole there and uh, it looks like a wheel, a Hoda. So the name, I name all my collection in Portuguese. That's my first language. And uh, so I think this is a very new taking in the shaker world and uh, just the beginning of something new. And of course, it's called the shakers because it has pieces inside of these uh, sapphires. Yeah, yeah, the panels are uh, white sapphire crystals and, uh, and called shakers because everything shakes. 
everything moves. You leave space in between the sapphires, flakes, and then it has uh, stones, but not only diamonds, it's sapphires and... Rubies, emeralds, paraibas, opals. The paraibas is a Brazilian stone, I mean, found in Brazil? Yes, yes, it's Brazilian. And uh, we have just two kinds of paraibas in the world. One from Brazil, one from Africa. But of course, the Brazilian are much nicer. <laughs> the color and everything. And it's very hard to find them because the mines are closed. And that's just what we have in the market these days. That's why we can get it. I must tell you, I find it to be de very delicate because even though it has uh, shakers and it has a lot of elements to it, it's very delicate. So it is for a you know for going out on a very special night but as well you could use it with casual clothing and just give it a go and really uh, get value for your money right yes i, I think you read completely what i do uh, i like my jewelry to be dressed up or dressed down it, it looks good in a white t-shirt and a jeans or you can put a, a beautiful dress at night or hair up and it, it suits it as well do you make pieces to be used unisex i see you wearing an earring and it looks amazing thank you Yes, I've tried to do something more genderless these days, and I'm launching in May, the end of May, the men's collection. You heard it here first, the men's collection launching in May. Will we have it here in Puerto Rico at Little Jewelers? We will have here too, yeah, but like I wear, you know, I think my jewelry is very unisex. A lot of people can pull it off, and, uh, but the, the market these days is more direct to the girls, to the women. But why not wearing, you know, this necklace would be perfect on me too, you know. I think it's very easy to wear. Listen, Moritz, you're in Puerto Rico now, and I can tell you men and women love to look beautiful in Puerto Rico, right? And plus, you have been in a relationship with Little Jewelers at the Mall of San Juan, so it will be no surprise that the men's collection will be here, right? And we'll be seeing you back again with the men's collection. Definitely. I'll be back to lunch it here in Puerto Rico. You know, each is a, a friend for many, many years and work with these people here, it's so nice. Great, well I can't wait to see it and whatever else comes up with the Shakers. Thank you. Thank you. friends of On The Go Puerto Rico. This is your host, Marisa Rivera, and we're here at the 16th Annual Puerto Rico Open at the Hyatt Regency Reserve. Chef Ariel, so what can people expect when they come to a Puerto Rico Open in terms of food and beverage? So it's a great experience. You're gonna enter to a clubhouse. The whole entry of the clubhouse is to be in here, it's air conditioning, you can do whatever. We have different bars. We have a wine bar uh, right in front, and we have a cocktail bar inside the, the clubhouse. Once you go outside to the village, you're gonna find out there's a main bar, little outlets of uh, beers and water and refreshments. But also we have a, like a, I think you already told me that you went through all the food trips that we have. So the first you have food, drinks, and everything you want to enjoy till you have the show. And of course, there's a private area which uh, different corporations can hire out. Are you take care of them as well? Yes. We have to actually two points. I don't take care of the Bacardi Lounge, where there's a Bacardi Lounge that's on one of the ends of the clubhouse, of the center of the suites. And then there's about 15, 16 to 15 suites that are private, like uh, Banco Popular, First Bank, uh, Rico, and they're all uh, tourism for the, a Puerto Rican to company, invest and we'll take care of them. They're our all f and is done for us. And continuing with our exploration of all things at the Puerto Rico Open, we're here with Wally Castro, because if you see a boat for sale, Wally Castro Marine is somewhere in there with the best in Puerto Rico. Uh, tell us what you have here today. Uh, Asimut is the line from Italy, and they come from 20, from 42 feet until 180 feet. So it's a line from outboard to inboard, so all the models with the luxurious of an Italian boat, you can have it and you can find it now in Puerto Rico with a good dealer, Wally Customer Inn. How many rooms, how many people does it fit comfortably just for a day out? 
The, the, the one you see here is 42 feet. It got two rooms and it accommodates six adults sleeping inside. Also, you got electric barbecue, three engines. The view can go fast. It goes 60 miles per hour wide open. And you got a side door. It's so many amenities in the boat that you can really love. For people who want to see it for themselves, you have it at Puerto de Rey? Yes, we have three boats in inventory at Puerto de Rey. Brand new boat just arrived. And for sure, our service and department, for sure, is really on it for you. Awesome. And then, of course, you have the North Tech, the Boston Whaler. What else? Uh, brand new, we bring in a, a lower racing line. It's called Cigarette. Uh, who doesn't know cigarette additive? That's true, but cigarettes is around 60 or 55 years ago started uh, the fastest boat, but they, they were factory direct and they look, uh, look at us and look at us. So they opened a dealership in Puerto Rico, one in Monaco and one in Dubai. Cool. It's only three dealerships in the world. They did their due diligence and they found that the person, that the person, that the entity to be with is with Wally Castro Marine at Puerto Rico. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a good day. Original leather satchel, handmade with the finest quality leather and hardware found in Britain. Created by the Leather Satchel Company in Cambridge, England. A timeless piece for every collection. The classic satchel lovingly handmade in UK since 1966 using the finest English leather. Created by the Leather Satchel Company in Cambridge, England. Find yours today at www.satchel.co. Promont Kids is a state-of-the-art pediatric facility that prioritizes children's well-being and your peace of mind. Our concierge service provides personalized medical care with 24-7 access to an urgent care team dedicated to ensure you receive the attention and care you deserve. Plus, next day and on-time appointments that respect your valuable time. Promont Kids offers the best and most convenient health care for children in Puerto Rico. To learn more, visit our website at promontkids.com. everyone, we're back at the Palmas Academy in Palmas del Mar in Umacao, Puerto Rico, which is a college prep school making waves in the educational field. Today we're going to talk about their college placement program and their learning enrichment center. Thank you for being here again. The college placement program is a very, it's a much more uh, complex concept than, than that. It, it's an academic advising and college advisory program. And it begins really in ninth grade. When our students begin in ninth grade, they start getting a, an early introduction and education on choosing the best courses based on their interests and talents. And then as they grow older and, and progress through the, through the grades, they begin to get better advice to define their interests, define their direction, and be able to find the schools or programs or just basically the path in life that best suits them based on those, on those interests and special talents. Uh, our goal is to find the best fit for them uh, with regards to the learning center, that's a, a, a very important piece as well because we're filling a need that we're seeing very much in demand in Puerto Rico and in our area. We are allowing students who are facing specific challenges due to uh, specific learning conditions and leveling the playing field so they can succeed academically in our school and in the future. It's really, uh, as time goes, it's growing. Uh, there's more demand and we're expanding to meet that demand as much as we can. What type of education and accolades do the professionals have at the Learning Enrichment Center? We have a variety of, of personnel that has different specialties. We have uh, speech pathologists, occupational therapists, physical therapists, uh, teachers who are uh, specialized in uh, learning uh, disabilities. We have a program for kids with different with that fall under the autism spectrum. And we're also adding soon a dedicated facility for physical therapy. Which are all students that might need extra special help from the early stages and the early grades? Yes. Uh, the program uh, in the Learning Center, we have kids as young as kindergarten and all the way up to be seniors in high school. And they receive a variety of services from specifically the subject area or in general. They visit the center according to their program and their needs. And with the changes that have been going on in the school as of late, are you looking forward to 
by the achievements of the College Counseling Program. One of the first things that I set out to do when I started my work here at the Palmas Academy, I understand the importance of a very sound college placement and academic advising program. And I set out to find the best professionals in the area. And we were fortunate that we were able to attract two of the very best in the business. And they're working with us here at Palmas Academy. Our students are fortunate that they have people of this caliber working with us. And basically their work is to is going to be focusing now with the, you know, from the ninth grade through 12th grade, but the results are really going to be seen in the next few years uh, as students become more connected with their direction and the things that they aspire to do. And we will see very significant results in the years to come. Basically, we work with them. Uh, we just started this year. So we started working with the seniors first semester. It was like a very quick thing. Uh, and we interview them individually. We talk to them about what are their interests, what do they identify as talents, uh, what do they want to pursue in the future, what, what lifestyle do they want to have, what profession do they want to have, where do they want to go to school, whether it's here or in the States or in Europe, wherever they want to go. And then we assist them in the whole college counseling process, which is basically identifying first the institutions that they want, and then going through the whole college admission process, which is, which if it's in the States, it's a lot more detailed and complicated because you have to get letters of recommendation, you have to write essays and, and many other things. So uh, upon gathering all of that information, uh, we assess their needs and where, what would be a good match for them, where, where they would fit best. Mm -hmm. Because it's not just getting into the university of their choice, it's making sure that they thrive and that they succeed. What resources and strategies do you use to support the students in this growth? Part of um, part of what we do is we take the interview that we have with the student, um, part of that needs assessment as well, and we look at their resume, we look at their life experiences, and we always um, try to figure out with them, try to guide them in identifying what they want the colleges to know about themselves. Uh, that is not going to be in any other part of the application. So, you know, at the end of reading, anybody who reads their essay, they should be able to tell, you know, something about the student that it's not in the application. It's the only part that they have full control of. The rest is all demographics and what you did in high school, you did in high school. What you're doing now, you, do, you did now. Not only academically, but extracurricularly as well. But the essay is a personal part. And as Lillian said, what do you want the colleges to know about you? What are you bringing into the game? Because remember, this is, I mean, you have to sell yourself very well. And that's the most difficult part for them is talking about themselves and a little bit bragging about themselves, you know, and, and talking about experiences that have marked them uh, in a way and they have grown through the process. Can you share some examples of college placements achieved through the counseling uh, programs uh, that you have been participating in? and scholarship opportunities that students have been able to access thanks to you. The first one is one of the oldest ones, and this was, a. Uh, there were twins, and one of them wanted to be an accountant, very, you know, focused, organized, everything, and the other one wanted to be a DJ. And the parents were very accepting, and this was way back when, and I said, don't worry, I will make sure that, you know, if you want to be a DJ, you're going to go to best school for that. And we found this little college that is now a university, in Orlando, Florida. It is a fantastic school for kids who want to go into producing music, creating music, working in the music industry, um, recording, all of that. And she basically, the next time I hear, he's DJing in Ibiza in Spain, like to, with DJ Tiesto and all of that, which anybody who knows about that, he's a main person. And here's Robbie doing this. And then he has a house in Ibiza and a house in Miami. And then he does... He works in Miami the rest of the year, but during the summers, Ibiza. Uh, and that's a pretty amazing case. And then I had another student from St. Thomas, a very talented musician. He became, he went to NYU too, but he went to Steinhardt because he wanted to do music and business, a little bit of mix of that. And that kid stayed in New York and he has gigs like all the time. And he's a jazz drummer and he's, he's a, an amazing kid. Ms. Baez, uh, does the Learning Center cater to individual learning needs through its occupational therapy programs? How does it do it? Does it mean in the occupational 
a therapist area and all of the other therapies. We have occupational therapy, we give speech therapy, and educational therapy also. It's on an individual basis because all of the therapies are given one-on-one. Each student is um, received by the specialist who brings them to their individual classroom and and inter- interacts with them according to the the needs that the student has um, uh, based on the therapist's um, evaluation, ongoing evaluation, uh, because they do an initial screening, but every week they determine whether or not the student is picking up on the skills that they should be learning. At the beginning of each year, we develop um, screening tests. They're free of cost for the parents. And what we do is that if the teacher or parents have any concern in terms of the development of language, um, we do that screening. If the student does not pass that screening, then we go into a full evaluation process. And the evaluation process will give us information of what are the concerns and the needs of that child and if therapy is really needed. And then we develop a program specialized for that children, just tailored for him, and that we will address and through therapy sessions. And always one-on-one classes because, of course, all the children are different? Yes. Uh, we don't do, at least I don't do group therapy. Um, I believe that um, each student deserves their own time to develop their the skills that they have behind. Uh, what measurable outcome or success story can you share with us about some of your uh, the children and students in the past 20 years that you've been here? Um, well, there's so many. Um, I think that each student has their own success. At the end of each year, you can see the success of each child. Um, probably they say more words, they can um, say sentences, they can un- read and understand what they read. Um, they can articulate better the sounds that they didn't do at the beginning. So it's so many things that, that they can uh, be happy and parents about how they, they got to, to meet their outcomes. Well, you know the drill. That's all the time we have for the show. Thank you so much for watching week after week. We couldn't do this without you, our faithful viewers, and of course, our sponsors, Provan Health Group and Pilateros for keeping us healthy and looking good inside and out. Shop Mate for my outfits. Beautiful salon in Guaynabo. And of course, the fine people at Ocean Lab. We'll see you next time on another On The Go Puerto Rico.